Hi and welcome back to another 10 Minds video. So in my last video, we took a look at the digital mode FT8. In that video, I briefly talked about PSK and RITI. So this video is going to cover a little history about RITI, where it's used and how we can decode it. Now RITI is an acronym for radio teletype, or if you like, radio teletype writer. However, the military and the government, radio teletype is actually known as the acronym RAT which stands for Radio Automatic Teletype. So teleprinter operations began back in 1849, when a circuit was put in service between Philadelphia and New York City. At this time, all RITI communications were over a landline and not radio. An early implementation of the radio teletype was the Watson graph, which was named after the Detroit inventor Glenn Watson. Now the US military then went on to use the radio teletype in the 1930s and expanded this use during World War II. And as mentioned before, they called this RAT radio automatic teletype. Now after World War II, amateur radio operators started to acquire the obsolete but usable teletype model 26. In 1946, the radio teletype and VHF Society was founded in Woodside, New York. Now this was the start of RITI being used in ham radio. The first RITI contest was held by the RITI Society of Southern California from around October to November 1953. It was named the RITI Sweepstakes Contest and there was only 29 participants which exchanged messages that contained a serial number, their call sign, an RST report, maybe the local time and the date. Pretty much the same sort of information as you would find now in any kind of contest. So, fast forward to modern times and all this can be handled by software installed on your personal computer with, of course, an audio interface and a transceiver. We are most likely to receive RITI on the data portion of the lower HF handbands. So let's go ahead and take a look. So in this example, I'm using my SDR RSP1A receiver connected to uh, a ballon and uh, long length of wire. And I have SDR Uno tuned to around 14.090 megahertz. We're using upper sideband because it's on 20 meters and we're looking for some kind of data lines. Now you can see on the screen here, uh, those two lines that are colored in the top right hand corner, that is RITI. That is how you can tell that it's RITI because it's actually like a dual tones which are coming down. So you're always gonna see two lines very close together. Now these are set at at a shift of 170 Hertz and the board rate is actually 45.45. Now the software that we're going to use to decode this is a program called Digital Master 780. Now this comes as part of a package called Ham Radio Deluxe. Now I'm using a bit of an older version because the version that I've got is free. The version that you can go ahead and download now you do need to make a contribution to get the official license. However the way this works is the audio is pumped out from SDR Uno into our digital master software and as you can see on the screen we have another waterfall now this is like an audio waterfall as you can see there's two lines coming down and when we have selected RITI 45 the ball rate of 45.45 and a shift of uh, 170 hertz your mouse as you move around will have two lines what you need to do is match up those two lines with the two lines that's coming down in the waterfall. Once you click on them, the software will then start to decode the RITI and you can see exactly what that station is saying. Now because this is like a portion of the audio spectrum that you're currently receiving, you can have many stations broadcasting at the same time, depending on how wide you set your filter on your SDR software package. So if it's quite a crowded, busy channel, maybe they're doing some contesting, the conditions are up, you may see more than one transmission happening at the same time. Each transmission is two lines. This is for RITI 45. So let's just go ahead and watch some of this being decoded. So 
So as you can see in that example, we were actually decoding the RITI transmission on the left hand side of the waterfall. And as you heard throughout that transmission, you heard some more RITI, which was a little bit higher pitched. That's the transmission that's going on around the middle of the screen or the middle of the waterfall there. It's shown in white against a blue background. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you a little bit of information about Ritty, its history and what it's used for now. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate. Put them down in the comments section below. And until the next video, guys, take care and we'll see you in the next one.